It's slippery, be careful. Mierda, we're high up here. You're telling me. There's a drop here. Watch out here. Watch your head here. Okay, from here. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Then it's a few days. I know. Here, take a drink of this. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John, where are you? That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Shit. I'll distract him while you get to the horses. Go. Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur.
30 more of these bastards show up. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Okay, boy. Come on, then. Back to the others. shelter now. You should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave the trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? I need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Oh, here we go. There we go. Ah, you oh. careful! The old ass, it's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that... that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait to thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. What do you think, Arthur? <sighs> well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. 
I've been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. What about you, Arthur? You doubting me too? Never. Good. Because you know me, son. I'm just getting started. Once we get some money, well, they... They better send some good men after us, because they ain't never gonna find us. But we need money. Of course, Dutch. Thank you, son. For your strength. It means a lot to me. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, you can wait then. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. You're safe now. <coughs> She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. <coughs> Keep warm, all of you. We Keep should warm. have a little Just food. If you're hungry, Mrs. We'll Adler. This hill. I hope so. <laughs> Stay safe. Hey, hungry. Okay, man. I know. And we can't. Just ask Mary before. Beth here. We keep moving and we keep together. Same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. We just need some thaw so we can get those wagons out. I know. We'll be okay. A tree that will not rot. Oh, my mistake. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare How you doing, a Uncle? image. I'm okay. Be I've been, been through worse. Well, I did one time in the... Sorry, I, I can't right now. From the beginning, had he not understood from the foundation Hey, how's he doing? He's okay. Just need some rest. Thank you again, Arthur. That's all right. Be warm. <sighs> you doing okay now? Oh, I think so. Thank you. Of course. That bringeth the princes to nothing. He maketh the judges of the earth as okay, vanity. Mr. Yay. I think so. Well they done for finding Mr. Marston. Some Yay, good news at least. Yep. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth, and he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither, and the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me, or shall I be equal, saith the Holy One?
Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who hath created these things, that bringeth out their hosts by number, and calleth them all by Ma names, I'm by real the sorry of his about mind, all of this. For that he hath strong husband, in power, not one failing. Yeah, I don't know what to Why say. Why sayest thou, O sorry. Jacob, and speaketh, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over from God. Another cold morning. How are you feeling? Look at us. What kind of question is that? We'll find a way off of here soon. Okay, brother. Oh, excuse me. Help with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you. Cool. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess... I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> what a party? <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You. You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. Yeah, that was the case. This, and this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. So one of the things, when you're in the cinematic camera, whether you're forced into it or you choose to be in it, you can press and hold X, and that will keep you on a trail or path, which is cool. Um, so that's pretty cool. And the cinematic view is an interesting way to, like, have predetermined cutscenes or even ones that you kind of produce. So like this, that was one that we just produced. So if we want a cinematic cutscene here, we just change the camera to cinematic mode. And we can still control our character. It's not a true cutscene. It's pretty neat. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen. I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, Others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And 
Hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. The environment's really good, and I'm really impressed with the light. Light and shadow looks really good for the game. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Oh. Like the little uh, holes of the horse's feet making the snow look really good. I realize that good graphics are not being made, considering that I run a right, no gentlemen. obvious exits graphics list game this show on Sundays, but I appreciate good graphics too. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little. See if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. So I'm no longer getting the prompts for uh, character control, so looks like we're getting out of the intro and into the real plot. Why did I not bring that rifle? There is clearly a rifle on that horse. Uh, I want that rifle. Not any rifle. Alright, life lessons. If you have a choice between a sidearm and a rifle, and you're going somewhere with the intent to get into trouble, Take the rifle. How difficult is that? Lens effects are neat. There they are. That's definitely them. Oh, I think so. Yeah, that's him. So I've got some rudimentary control over the uh, field glasses here. <clears throat> Not right, but... Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Lens effects are a little bit stomach churning. No can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. <clears throat> right? You two, get up there and keep us covered. You got it, Dutch. My horse. Uh, select alarm on the slot and use R2 to cycle to the carbine. That's that. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? I think no. you're going the wrong way. Oh. Really? My bad. Now, as I was saying, our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. I'm trying to use the aiming function just uh, so I can get be familiar with it before combat happens. So the game really hard funnels you into the plot 
and really restricts your actions a lot. Um, I haven't played Red Dead Redemption 2 before. I played the first one a little bit, but not to completion. Um, I'm more familiar with sandbox style games, so the fact that I can't even aim this rifle right now to see what the interface looks like is kind of irksome. There we go. So like at times you can or can't sprint, at times you can or can't use weapons, can't use items, and uh, in many ways we're just kind of passengers in this story. Which is not my main preference. It's steep here. Careful. That means I'll fall because I'm awful at this. Game looks really good. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. That seems like a strange choice there. Down through these trees, quick. I can't parse that audio. They're not get subtitled. Dear games, when subtitles are selected, subtitle everything. Stay low. Hey look, I remembered a thing. Come on, follow me. Hold L2 while looking at Dutch. Just what the hell are you doing? Oh, that would be R2. All right, boys, kill these sons of bitches. Every last one of these. My bad. Retry from the checkpoint. I just hit the wrong button. I was supposed to be peeking around that corner, and I kicked off the firefight. So, yep. What are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. We have to move on this right now. Okay. 
I'll go first. So the key is to using this auto aim is to be pretty quick on the trigger. What the hell? Ah. That was crazy. Jeez, I don't know if auto aim did not do me any favors there. Is that a thing we can do? Take
Bummer. Uh, I guess we'll try that checkpoint again. Apparently, if Bill dies, mission's over. Look out! More of the bastards coming out of the trees. So apparently, we will not go loot. We will. Uh, Getting a little bit quicker on uh, that carbine there. It's a strange method of living corpses. But animation is a little bit weird. thing it told me to do. Tennessee Walker's my horse. Arthur, get over here. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. <laughs> Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick! Find those detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go! Think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. So, uh, handle that there uh, gently, fellas. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. 
of Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. It's a pretty serious name. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. Oh. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us as hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. Get valuables, documents, horse cargo. That's who we are. Now I'd like to know how much ammo I have. <clears throat> Wait until we have John. Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. So if you press and hold X, you can match the pace of whomever you're following. And uh, that's a you know, nice little... Easy uh, speed, speed thing. You still have to use the left joystick to right. actually track. Dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. <laughs> this is like an excellent spot for a wolf ambush. See that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. I have no idea how to lasso something. No one wanted to show the weapons here. What the hell, dude? Put this away. Too much time go by? Failed. <clears throat> Leave him to me. Easy. Hold L2 to ready the lasso and aim at O'Driscoll. to held and dismount. <clears throat> Hug time. You're coming with me. Please don't. Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. Let's go for a ride. your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? 
What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Pretty sure we're on the white, uh, correct path. I hardly know him. Following uh, that yellow path there. That's so those guys like wait for us like you know thirty goddamn seconds. I I'm no use to you. You better shut your to mouth. Be seen you there, buddy. Shit, to I be will seen. shut it for you. I swear! I've only been running with them a couple of months. Come on, just name your price. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. Do not recollect being this far away from the cabins. Introduce you to the boys. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, don't worry. They're real nice. This cabin? No. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yep. <coughs> <coughs> I got him. Very good. Well, thanks to you, Welcome man. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle! Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are gonna find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. That worked out with the old Driscolls. Now we just have to rob this train. Get out of here. Yeah. 
Them wagons are still snowed in. So, how you feeling about this train? I mean, you gotta do something. Yeah, but that's more than something. Having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed the O'Driscolls. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of here soon. <clears throat> Everyone else seems to be going in here. You okay, Bill? Are we gonna hit this train then? Seems that way. Okay. The plot is not in this cabin. Looks like these guys came from this other cabin, so maybe we'll trundle ourselves over there. See what they were up to here. When you get a chance, send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. Body's in a wagon out front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. How are you doing, Molly? So now you're robbing a train. How is that going to help us? I'd question. speak to Dutch about that. We don't appear to have, you know, stuff to do. That saw could be useful. Do something like that? No. Nobody in here. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Mike should do it, but that ain't a good idea. Okay, well, try to stay warm. All right, then. And the plot is not in this camp either. We are running out of cabins to check to find out where this plot is hiding. What's your medicine, buddy? You are an you seem like a fellow who's in the water. That's my guess. All right, Mr. You Strauss. Shut up and get some rest. Yes, happy you boys all made it back in one piece. Just about. Yavo. You've done the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. It could be worse, given the circumstances. No doubt. You feeling any better? Uh, not a whole lot. Can't seem to get warm. It's because well, winter. I'm hoping we can get out of here soon. Oh, what is it? Hey, Cat. I'm glad you boys made it back all right. We was worried. Yeah, hopefully we can get out of this hell hole soon. Why are you laying on the floor, lady? Oh, sorry. All quiet here while we were gone? I think so. I slept for most of it. T typical. Do you 
You still here? Maybe I should scratch myself and feign a limb. Ain't you got nothing better to do? Whatever the beef is between you two, now ain't the time. That was weird. You staying warm there? Trying to. At least we've got a fire now. Yep. Man of many words, old Arthur is. Yep. few cans of food this guy and a the rabbit. Plot. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. There are so many conversations I just want to stop with. Survived. I do not wish to hear about whatever it is. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need some meat out there. Assorted, salted off. Oh God. Starving would be preferable. I, on, I'm, I'm with you there, man. You can't go hunting. Look at it's your like head. organ meat and stuff. Yeah. To you two. Look at this game in those hills. I'll find it, and you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come Sounds on. like two insults for the this price way. of one. Bonding. It'll be Aww. fine in a day or two. Oh, I have a buddy. I just can't pull a bow right now. Well, I sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll. <laughs> <laughs> There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. We're not now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Way. Find some higher ground. I really like the color of the horse on the left. Can we switch horses there, buddy? Been a wild few days, all right. Got right north from Blackwater. Getting stuck in the storm. Going out for John. That thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Nor do we. Well, I told sequence. me a bit, but it sure weren't good.
patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. Stop here a second. I see something. <sighs> There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Well, I try to do that, man. Horse weapons. Oops. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. See the tracks? I uh, think so. Maybe not. Focus. So, I guess I'm going first. Don't know where we're going. L3 and R3 to activate Eagle Eye. Focus on track. And R1. to have a little bit more instruction there. But it's not clear if this is the track or the shadow of that long tree. R1 to focus on track. Do you know what we're looking for? 
more. Tracks. Talk to me. You follow the tracks. I have no idea where these tracks are. <coughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm caught my throat. Not that way. What are you doing? I don't know where the tracks are, buddy. I see no tracks. There's the track. And there are the deer. I don't know why that deer made a dying elephant sound, but it kind of did. Okay. 
Try again. Arthur. It's dead now. Okay, that'll do it. I think that's all we can carry. I like how stow, whether it's a person or a deer, means just kind of, you know, toss on the back there and 
Magically, it stays. Horse. He's gonna leave it here? Well, that seems awful wasteful. Why are we doing that? Now stay with me, please. Anyway, you can say it. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. How things were, looking Apparently a the tutorial days deer you just leave there and the other ones you get to bring well, maybe back. Maybe our left is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. Uh. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl. She has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. A big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Oh. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. We uh, should definitely give that bear a little bit more time to not be there. Cut up here. Off the trail. Six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. 
Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> this is the weirdest bro Nancy okay. dialogue. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh yes. Dutch oh, the smells are accumulating on the deer and on the coat. Treats me fair. Most you do. Clever detail. For a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Since I was a boy. Twenty years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. That's a weird character I tried trait. I ride the Count once. Hucks me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Time over here. Brought some food back, boys. <sighs> Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. I uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. <clears throat> I am endeavoring to do so. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Ah, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Oh, that's not how you do that. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these and sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, 
You bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting. After all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. What's wrong with our horse back there? It's been a tough few days. A few days later. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here, then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to go? Of course I do, but... Look at it. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Little Abigail. You're more than a flesh wound there, buddy. The boy wanted to see you, John. <clears throat> you see me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet. Sugar is the 1899 version of who is John Galt? Well, who is Sounds Leviticus like Cornwall? He has more than enough to share. Dutch. Gentlemen, it is time to make something that of Harry ourselves. Scarf he's rocking Get there? your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Alright, thanks. I'll have to figure out how to do that on PS4. I'm not quite sure how to adjust those things. The train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny? Javier, you two take the front cars. Deal with any. Do -do 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 -do. Appears to be just a game audio. Not sure how to change my me audio. I will have to mess with that in a little bit. Guards, Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan Gray. Have you got a problem with? 
that. Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep. Crystal. Clear Just enough. Move. Good. Now come on! So we are a group of outlaws. We are a plucky band. We have rescued uh, foundlings, and apparently we're also going to go rob a train. Someone else intended to rob this train, um, but we killed them all because apparently they have the wrong last name. So now we're going to rob the train. You can also queue up these little cinematic cutscenes whenever you want by long pressing on the central pad of the PlayStation controller. And you can still control your character and move them around. It's kind of a fun way to watch the game almost like it's a film. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done good. fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Captain Exposition. Just happy we're back at him, doesn't it? You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you guys ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be the crazy looks to really go back good, and the light now. looks the really good. I'm really impressed with the lighting effects. We go back when I <clears> say <throat> we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, There'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money. Once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone. That sounds like a non-trivial issue. Get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. Whoa! There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. See how he's getting on? Okay. Which one's Bill? I don't know how steep of a thing my horse can go down. Doesn't really feel like the time for a trial and error kind of issue with horse climbing. You can also just uh, tether the horse uh, against any kind of bush or tree. Well, looks like a thing. Does anyone see that guy? See where that guy went.
Is that a tree or a guy? Getting off. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Of course. Where is that? Can guy? I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Spool nearby. What appears to be the detonator? Do not see where the spool is. Oh, there's that dude. Jeez, how long did we stare at that guy? So the game interaction, uh, as far as controls go, is pretty Assassin's Creed-like. Uh, you've just got just a couple of buttons that do just about everything. This I'm not doing at all. This is just happening. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Well, that seemed like something I definitely needed to be doing. Says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. I don't know if I have a mask. Apparently, I do. What is on the train? I'm not sure, Jago. Uh, we found a map in someone else's cabin and decided we were going to rob the train. Uh, maybe savings bonds? I think they said maybe savings bonds. And it's 18.99, so you know treasury bills and savings bonds are important. Huh? Bro, you had one job. Maybe I had one job. Where did you find that moron? Who said it was fine? It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? It is my fault? I'm not sure, man. Jump on the train. That that does not seem like a winning strategy. Jeez. Take him. Arthur, 
Who's gone? I'm trying to talk to you there, buddy. Uh... Okay, I'll just deal with you. Okay. Oh, I told you to fell off this thing. Well, that's a bummer. So, we'll see how that goes this time. I am killing Abe Lincoln, the train engineer. Uh, later, buddy. Don't be in the car. That appears to be the point. Stop the train. It's a good thing this train has like two levers, and one is the stop lever.
Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. This is dynamite we found in a warehouse. Step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as can. You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. Hey, Mr. Cornwall, we are yet to receive payment for $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the okay. Wapiti Indian see Reservation. on Barino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9th, 1898. Get on receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, head of accounts, Gee. Leland Oil Development That's Company. That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts. Invoices, blah, blah, blah. Dear Leviticus, thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company. However, any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties of the mine in Annisburg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business meeting of your con at your convenience to exchange ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Annisburg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Archibald Jameson. Any luck, Arthur? Nothing much yet. Well, let's keep looking. Goddamn O'Driscolls. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? Keep 
looking. There must be some. Come on, let's hurry this along, boys. That looks like a strong box. Yeah, this looks like A lockbox which is not locked. A bond. Think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> this game just has a take everything button. Probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. How do you just ditch a train? It's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us, okay? See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. True story, J. Bro. I'm not sure why it's my job to drive this train and deal with these folks. Oh, I actually meant to do the guarding thing. But, uh, didn't. Whoops. I guess I'm an outlaw, so I shouldn't really worry about accidental button outlawry. It is a bummer that the push the button to like do the thing and push the button to murder everybody uh, are just a left and right variation of each other. Oops, sorry buddy. So there's like no way to tell how much ammo you're carrying unless you like have the weapons drawn. So I'm just picking up all the ammo and chewing tobacco that I come across. <coughs> that, that is not what I wanted to do. I would like to get on the train, please. this is a different button at the front of the train than it was at the uh, ass end of the train. No. So I don't have to drive the train anyway. Well, there we go. You know, like when... Uh, Army Corps of Engineers just like raises the Morgantown lock and dam periodically to let all the trash flow down like twice a year. That's basically what we just did with the train. That's just someone downstream's problem. Well, thanks guys for tuning in. That's about two hours of Red Dead for me. I've got some other stuff to do today. So I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for checking in. I am LPGWV Kevin, and this is Let's Play Games West Virginia. If you are interested in streaming video games, tomorrow at 9 a.m. I will be streaming my show on the main channel, twitch.tv slash LPGWV, No Obvious Exits, wherein we play interactive fiction and text adventures. We have Pokemon Days coming up on Monday. Then we have Andy streaming on Tuesday and Friday, Katie on Wednesday, SMP on Thursday, and Jagro on Saturday mornings. So feel free to tune in. We've got something going every day of the week at Let's Play Games West Virginia, and we will be looking to see you soon. Thanks again, guys.
assuming I can figure out how to uh, turn off the broadcast. Nope. 